Have you ever thought to yourself, oh, I was doing so well today and then I ate two slices of cake at that birthday party and I ruined everything. If so, buckle your seatbelt because you're watching the right video. I'm Katie Seaver, founder of Intuitive and Luscious Eating and katieseaver.com, and I'm a coach for women who generally have it together in their lives but are really frustrated with their eating. So let's talk about this issue. This, oh my gosh, I was doing so well and then I had two slices of cake and I ruined my whole day. So there's either, there's one of two things going on. The first possible thing is that there is really something that needs to be explored here. You know, you ate two slices of cake when you weren't hungry, there was something emotional going on, and you're doing this all the time. You know, you're doing this once a day, twice a day, you know, multiple times a week, and it's leading you onto these huge binges, and you really do need to explore these issues. If that's you, my, my website, katiesieber.com, is filled with content on that. Um, so I would direct you there, um, and I'm going to post some links below this video that will be great starting points for you. Um, but the second thing I want to talk about, and really the focus of this video, is if that's not true. If you're generally like eating in a way that feels good to you, you're eating when you're hungry, you're stopping when you're full, you're feeling pretty good, but then you eat these two slices of cake, and then it sends you on an eating downward spiral of death and stress. And if that is you, I want to give you some real talk today. And I want to say to you, from my heart to yours, I want to give you some love and some smack down. And I want to say to you, don't worry about it. Don't worry about it. Normal people eat two slices of cake. Normal people eat two slices of cake that they weren't even hungry for. The difference between you and that normal eater is just that you're flipping out if you're having two slices of cake and you're letting it ruin your whole day or lead you to then like order a whole pizza and eat the whole thing because you've already ruined everything. If you were just a normal eater, you'd be like, oh yeah, whatever, two slices of cake. I wasn't that hungry, but like, it was good, you know, and then you just move on with your life and you wouldn't have it really affect your weight because it's just like an extra slice of cake. It's not going to put five pounds on you. It's just a slice of cake. In fact, I would say that occasionally having two slices of cake that you weren't really hungry for because you were at a birthday party and whatever happened is actually a really important step on the sort of intuitive eating journey. Because let's be honest, it's really important to eat when you're hungry, it's really important to stop when you're full, it's really important to listen to your body, but if all of those things become these rigidly held rules that you can never break without it completely ruining your life and you completely flipping out, then it's just as bad as any diet. I mean, the only reason to do all those things, the only reason to eat when you're hungry and stop when you're full and all of that is because it's like, makes you feel pretty good. That's the only thing. They're not actually rules, they're just like... Things that are usually a good idea. But you don't have to do them all the time. Normal eaters don't do them all the time. They just do them some of the time. So if you had two slices of cake that you were hungry for, it's cool. Don't worry about it. Just move on with your life. So that's something that I want you to keep in mind because I write a lot about all this eating stuff and I know that sometimes it might come off as rules, but it's not because you can always break them and nothing's gonna happen. And in fact, maybe you should break them sometimes because nothing's going to happen. So my homework, my challenge for you this week is to think of one of those normal eaters. Think of somebody in your life you know who would have like half a pizza or a whole pizza or two slices of cake that they maybe weren't hungry for sometimes and then just move on with their life and it's totally fine. Um, try to think how they would approach a meal. When you sit down to your meal, think how much would they eat? What would they think about it? If you can't think of anyone, if you literally don't know any normal eaters, then imagine one. Think of somebody from TV or books or movies or ask a friend if they know anyone and ask your friend to describe them to you. Bonus points on this week's challenge if you actually interview the person and ask them directly how they would approach you. So that's my big idea for you this week. I hope it resonates. Um, I would be so honored if you would leave a comment below letting me know what you think. Uh, and if you like this content, there's tons more like it at katieseaver.com. And until next time.